Hey guys, what is up? Dave here with a brand new video for you guys actually on 4B40. Now obviously, again, I'm not getting back into like the Minecraft video game channel rage and all that. I'm just here because WWE fan um, put out a new 2.0 client update finally. I just saw his video uploaded and I wanted to make a video to upload um, as well, giving my thoughts on the 2.0 client because he added some features that are essential for um, people who make YouTube videos on Minecraft, especially on servers like 4B where you don't want to be found, like really don't want to be found, um, that will actually spoof your coordinates. And I've never seen that feature before. Also, sorry about recording in desktop mode. When I record in game capture, my audio gets all crunchy and messed up and I don't know what's wrong with it. But I wanted to go over the F3 spoofer um, exploit that he's put into the game and actually show you guys and explain it to you guys for those of you who do make YouTube videos on servers like this where you don't want to be found. So without further ado, and actually I'll give um, an opinion on a, uh, on a spoofer idea to maybe take it to the next step too as well during this video. So first of all, this is the current look of um, current look and all the features. As you can see, there's Tunneler, Yaw, Spammer, Portal Chat, Jesus, Join, Leave Messages, Inventory Walk, MCF, Horse Jump. I don't need that. Um, the Chat Bot, Auto Respawn. All this stuff is still here. Death Cord. A lot of this is new compared to the version I was using, which was insanely old. Turn the hood on and off, no cave culling. So like if I go, I can literally see everything. Um, it will no longer um, fade out the caves, rainbow enchant. It is a little bit weird compared to the old version. I feel like the old version's animation was a little bit better um, because right now it's not smoothly changing into another color. It's staying a color and then flashing to another color. I feel like the other version was much better. Um, there's the search where you can search for specific items and I'll show that in a minute. That's really cool. Tracer or ESP. Um, text shadow, so you can actually put shadows on text. Trajectories, x-ray, you all know what that stuff is. There's anti-hunger, don't use that on 4B. Once you touch water on 4B, if you're using anti-hunger hacks, you will actually um, just die instantly if you touch water. Anti-void, I'm not sure what that does. I've never messed with it. There's the auto fish. There's the bed god mode. There's blink, color signs. I don't know what blink does either. I've never messed with that. Entity ride lets you ride anything. F3 spoofer, which is what I'll mainly be going over. Infinite chat links, so you can scroll up and down and see the entire chat log. Key repeat, that sounds exactly what I think it is. Um, no fall, no push, no turn, offhand, peak. Oh, hey, there's text in the bottom corner. It tells you what it is. Uh, makes you not fall in the void. Bed God mode makes you invisible when you're uh, asleep. Blink is allows you to teleport. Color signs, make colored signs. Um, no fall, obviously. No push, no turn. Offhand lets you swing with your left hand instead of your right hand. There's peak. Um, when you hover over a shulker box in your inventory, it shows you what's in it. That's insanely cool. Portal God Mode um, makes you invincible when you go through a portal. That's something really cool I've never heard of. Speed Mine, this is something I use very often. I'll usually put it on haste too. As long as your pickaxe is enchanted to at least unbreaking or... Um, uh, the, the other one that I can't think of the word... Um, the one that makes you mine a little bit faster. I can't think of what it's called off the top of my head. As long as you have that enchantment on at least level 1, you can use haste. Uh, haste 2 mining and it'll be fine. Toxic sets players on fire. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, and X carry lets you carry stuff in your crafting table in your inventory. So I can, for example, put this fish here. And it'll stay there. So it's extra carrying space, which is really cool. Because other than that, I feel like this is honestly useless. Except for when you're first starting out or when you're like in a pickle and don't have a table. Um, other than that, there's anti-weather, auto farm, 
um, bed nuker, uh, cake nuker, that's new, automatically eats cake, that's pretty cool, Fulbright, oh, my base looks pretty nice when Fulbright's turned off, liquid interact, allows you to place blocks on liquid, that's going to be useful for me, nuker, break blocks around you, pathfinder, generate new chunks, um, they'll glow, scaffold, places blocks under you, surround, um, blocks around you, that's really cool, TPS sync, oh, that's a cool thing too, waypoints, and then there's just the GUI stuff. So F3 Spoofer, this is what I've been talking about, this is what I've just been saying, oh, this is the most amazing thing ever. So obviously, you never want your cords to leak when you are on a server like 4B4T because you want to stay hidden. I'm going to hit my F3 key. My XYZ is spoofed. My version of Minecraft is spoofed. The block that I'm standing on and looking at is spoofed. Um, actually, I'm not looking at a block. So as you can see, every block is 1337. The block I'm standing on, my XYZ cords. The only thing that's not spoofed is my chunk. But I did that on purpose because chunk numbers don't very much matter. And I was going to show you how to use F3 spoofer anyway. So first of all, Key. You have to have it enabled in the menu. If I unenable it right now, I'm going to screw myself and you're all going to see my uh, cords. But you want to open chat and do .f3 spoof. Brings up all these options. You can edit everything here. The Minecraft version, the client name, the XYZ coordinate, the block you're looking at, the chunks, um, facing pitch difficulty. You can change everything in here. So as you can see, I changed the biome to stone slab because those of you who know me, yeah, I made my own biome basically because I had so much spare stone. Rip. Uh, that was free cam, by the way, if you didn't know. But the best way to do this is .f3 spoofer, or .f3 spoof, and then I didn't do chunk, so I'll do chunk. You want to set use default value to false. And then you can put literally anything in here, any kind of text, any number, um, anything. You can put, ha, huh, done. Changes the number to ha. Huh. Now nobody knows where I am, what I'm doing. Nobody can figure out the chunks that I'm in. I am completely invisible. The idea that I had, here's the idea that I had. So for the XYZ chords, let's say you're on a server and you want to look legit obviously if your f3 is up right now it's frozen so no matter where i move this doesn't change no matter what number i set it to that's kind of a problem let's say you're on a faction server you're using this client but you're using it in a secretive way what if you wanted to look kind of legit your f3 is up it's a frozen number why not have some code in it where it's like current x and then you could do plus or minus you could actually the easier way would probably in the code would just be to do plus spoofed x and then have it equal x that would be i think a really cool feature because then somebody could do well current x plus negative 250 equals x. So if my actual cord is 1,250 plus negative 250, it looks like I'm at cord coordinate of 1,000. And you could even get really crazy with it and really anti-cheat about it. This is a video I made a very long time ago where I actually talked about doing anti-cheat in video games um, by actually having random number generators and having random ranges. So you could even get as crazy as current x plus random, at least this is how I do it in C-sharp, random dot range for those of you who know my uh, my normal stuff that I normally make. Um, this would be a, re actually this might even be too crazy because you would always want it to be a standard static number. So actually this up here would probably be 
the best. Because even then, you could also do, you know, 1250 plus 200 equals 1450. Obviously, that's not where you are, but it's at least a spot where you might be. And I think that's a really cool feature that could really be added and be really useful to people. Um, is just an advanced feature on top of this F3 spoofer where that way this number is always constantly changing because you have a uh, static frozen number right here plus your current x-axis location, your y-axis location, and your z-axis location. Y, I guess, isn't as important just because obviously you can only go so high and so low. So people are obviously going to know you're still hacking if your current y plus 50 equals y and that y equals you know let's say for some odd reason you're really high up in the air all of a sudden your y equals 301 but you're building obviously they know you're cheating so that makes it really difficult um but X and Z spoof with this more advanced spoofing method, I believe would be insanely helpful. And it would also be something you'd probably want to make sure you also have added to the block you're looking at. So block X plus the same number as a, you're looking at. So let's say you're looking at block... Um, the block you're looking at is at 1255 plus the negative 250 equals, you know, 1005. That way it also still looks legit. So your block X and your regular X kind of have to even out in order to make you look legitimate. That's the only thing that I really think really should be or could be added to give this more of a functionality than it already has. Wow, there's a lot of zombies down there. I've been idle for too long. I was just about to walk, too. Oh, apparently your items fall out of you if you uh, leave the game. Here, let me put myself in F5. And then the other thing that's really cool that he added is the search function. So let's say you don't want to use X-ray. You don't want to trace her to certain blocks. Um, you just want to be able to find something within a certain area. So we added this search function, which I'll enable it. Tracer or a block at nether and end portals. That's not what I saw in his video. I believe if you do dot search, what was it? Yeah, so dot search. Um, bed, uh, I think, or actually we'll do redstone, redstone block 255, 255, 255, I didn't actually, this part I only overheard, so I'm kind of figuring it out, there you go, I have a tracer that's pointing at that redstone block, at all times it will point at that redstone block as long as I'm within 255, 255, 255 of it, so if I go, you know, I can do remove, it remo removes it from my search list. If I want to add it, but I only want it shown if I'm within, you know, 20 blocks by 10 blocks by 20 blocks, it'll only show if I'm within that area, or it should only tag it if I'm within that area. Maybe, actually, is it... Oh, that's probably the color of it. My bad. The last three here are color. I, I'm an idiot. I didn't actually realize that. So let's do 255, 255, 255. Oh, I got to remove it first. Hold on. So now, yeah, now it's white around it. So it's uh, 255 color code, um, RGB to actually make it show up. That's my bad on that part. I didn't actually see his video for it, but you can also trace her to it as well as ESP to it. And that's something that I feel like is going to be insanely useful to a lot of people too, 
because you could do dot search diamond or uh, way too easy to see. 255, 255. Add. There we go. So now diamond or, that's all the diamond or around me that I can see. So that's within a good distance too. I feel like um, adding a distance controller to that would be really useful as well. So within 50 blocks of me or something you can control. Because right now this is a little overbearing. This is just within the loaded range. But other than that, that would be the only things I would add would be the um, more the heavier spoofing options for the X and Z coordinates as long as the block X and block Z for what you're looking at, like I showed. And then this is the only other thing I would really add would be just a distance that it looks for this stuff around you. Um, other than that, amazing 2.0 update runs so much more smoothly as well. Still works with my mind bot since I'm running 12.2 on Forge. Um, this stuff's still going really well. I had a baby pop up. I don't know where he went. I got a useless guy. That's great. All my farmers are down there. I need to continue working on this. I also have some other ideas that I'm going to bring to the server, like uh, hidden rooms and stuff I've learned to build offline. And other than that, now that I have the ability to also place uh, blocks on um, on liquid, thanks to the exploit, wherever it is in here. I don't remember where it was. Liquid Interact, now that I have the ability to place those blocks, I'll be able to take out that uh, error-loaded um, thingamajiggy that I found that I don't remember the name of. Nor do I remember how I was even digging to it or where. I think I was digging to it here. Yeah, I was. I just need more pickaxes. But it goes that way, and I'll eventually hit that error spawn area that I found and showed in another video. Other than that, um, I know this is kind of a, not one of my better videos for explaining this stuff, but it was new to me too. So that's honestly why it was kind of clunky. But I wanted to give some ideas. I wanted to give some of my two cents. I wanted to tell you guys the new stuff with WWE Client because there's still a few of you at least that play 4B4T and definitely want to know this stuff about the area. So any other questions or anything, let me know. WWE Fan uh, has done some really awesome work on this client and really deserves all the recognition that he doesn't really seem to get unless you're on his Discord. So link for his website I'll put obviously in the description. It's also something really cool that um, he's using the theme that I made for his website. That's something I'm really happy I was able to help with. And, you know, we'll go from there. Again, sorry about it being in desktop mode. I get the errors with uh, recording if I record in game mode right now. So this is the best as it's going to get. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.